On their return journey, Danny and Suzanne took a trip from Hiroshima to Tokyo. Um, the train left Hiroshima at 8.06. It stopped at eight stations en route for four minutes at a time. It reached Tokyo at 12.03. The distance the train traveled was 816 um, kilometers. So in this particular one, we know um, that whatever it is that we are going to be doing sort of has um, um, a time, I would, use, I would call it a time, Okay, not a time frame, but I would, I would call it a, um, okay, that word is not there right now. I'll remember it. So we are asked to calculate the average speed um, at which this train traveled. So we need to calculate the average speed. The nice thing is that this is already given to us, but we are asked to calculate the average speed. Do you see what's going on here? We are asked to calculate the average speed, but we are given a formula for distance. So we need to be careful um, in terms of what we are doing here. So the first thing that we need to do before we can do this calculation is for us to almost sort of figure out how we would find speed. So I always use um, the triangle D S T. Okay, that's not showing properly. D, S, T. So if I'm looking for speed, it's going to be distance over time. So speed is equals to distance over time. Okay, that's speed. Speed is equals to distance over time. Now, do I have a distance? Do I know the distance um, that, they have that they have traveled? Yes, I've been given a distance. This is the distance that was traveled, 816 kilometers. So I do have a distance there. Do I have um, a time? I have a time, but I've been told that in between they were stopping for minutes. So if they stopped at eight stations for four minutes, so I need to go now and multiply that. So I'm going to come back here, okay? Because obviously um, I've got a distance, but I don't have a time. So time is missing here. So I'm going to come back and finish that off. So on the side here, which is also still for marks, four minutes times eight stations. Four times eight. Please show this in your working because it is for marks. So 32 minutes of the entire journey was spent on stopping. So it's not fair for us to use this time. Okay, it's not fair for us to use this time in between here. So it means that we're going to subtract it somewhere somehow. Okay, that's fine. So again, in terms of time, we can't just use this time as it is because they traveled from this time to this time. So those two times need to be subtracted by each other. So it's 12.03. 12.03 minus 8.06. So you need to be careful when you do your subtractions of time. Again, we all have our different methods. Um, that we use to subtract time. Okay, so I can go in a borrow and so on and so forth, which will leave me with three hours and 57 minutes. So that's the time they used. However, however, we need to subtract the stopping time. However, it has to be three hours and 57 minutes minus the 32 minutes that they spent on the road. I mean, they spent stopping at their stops. So whatever method that you use should give you um, three hours and 25 minutes. So now I've got my time. Do you see? Now I've got my time. So I've got three hours and 25 minutes that was spent on the road. Three hours and 25 minutes that was spent on the road. 
However, you cannot use it like this. So we need to convert 3 hours and 25 minutes into hours only. Some people think it's 3,25. That's wrong. Okay. So this is the same as 3 and 25 over 60. That should give you um, the comma that we are looking for. Let's go do it. So it's 3 plus um, 25 over 60. So it's 25 minutes over 60 minutes, basically. So that is going to give us as a decimal. So it's not, yeah, there. As a decimal, it's going to give us 3, 1466666 um, recurring. So how many sixes are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's six sixes and a seven at the end. So 8, 1. There's no comma there. So 8, 1, 6. All over. Um, three comma four one six sixes seven. Okay, nice one. Now I can plug this in my calculator. Now I can do this. So eight hundred and sixteen kilometers divided by three comma four one one two three four five six. Seven, um, two hundred and eighty-three, two hundred and thirty-eight. Sorry, comma eight two nine. I would advise you to write the number out first, and then write the rounded off number. So I'm going to round it off to two decimal places, which is going to make it comma eighty-three. So that's two hundred and thirty-eight, comma eighty-three kilometers per hour and that was the speed don't forget to write this because that is um your unit for speed so we are officially at the end of question five we are officially at the end of paper two i hope that you really really enjoyed that you can see that you need to study way harder for paper two than you need to study um for paper one but no you need to study equally for all of them actually but paper two has proven itself to be more difficult go study go through these questions over and over again and just go kill it go kill that paper